one day I'm walking in LA after all that, and uh, I ran into my friend Sandy Gennaro, drummer. I said, hey, Sandy, how you doing? And he said, good. I said, what are you doing? He goes, I just auditioned for Rod. I didn't make it. You should call him. I said, really? Who'd you call? So he showed me the guy's name, Pete Buckland. I said, oh, Pete, we did 30, 35 gigs with Faces and Cactus. We used to wreck hotel rooms and abuse women <laughs> and did everything, wreck cars and did everything together. And Pete was at the helm of it all. So I said, oh, give me the number. So I called Pete and I said, hey, Pete, it's calm out of peace. What's the deal? You, Rod's looking for a drummer. You don't call me? And he says, oh, you're always busy. I said, well, I'm not busy now. I'd love to play with Rod. He goes, oh, let me call Rod. He's in England. So he called Rod and Rod, Rod told him, have Carmine go to my house. The band is there. They're looking for a drummer. Have him, me, check it out. So it was almost like, have Carmine check the band out. See if he likes it. I said, whoa, that's pretty, that's a switch. And I said, I've known Rod now. You know, this was, I've known Rod since 68. And this is like uh, almost 10 years later, you know. And we did a lot of gigs together with Cactus and Faces and all. Yeah. So I went to the house. And I figured, well, I'm going to Rod Stewart's so house. I'm going to bring a good car. So I had a Pantera at the time, which is now in England. A guy bought it in England and he's redoing this Pantera, totally restoring it for car shows. Nice. And since I had that car for 40 years, he's going to call the Carmine Peace Pantera. <laughs> And I'm going to tell them about all the people that wrote in it, like Ozzy and <laughs> Rod Stewart and Prince and all these different oh, people, wow. Jeff Beck, you know. But anyway, so I, I drove the Pantera to Rod's house. I pull up these gigantic gates. I said, whoa, I didn't know Rod was this successful, <laughs> you know. And I pull in <clears throat> and then I go in and I see Phil Chen. I go, hey, I didn't know you were in the band. And I, I meet Jim Cregan. He was in the band. I met him in England. And so, so we had a play. It sounded good and more, more, and and also yeah I had to had to have this in my head as soon as I went in there, I saw the mansion I saw you know Porsches and Lamborghinis <laughs> and all these cars and I said I want to play here I want to play with this band. You know? <laughs>